subscribe to automation studio channel and press on bell icon for new video notifications hello guys welcome to automation studio this is praveen and in this session we are going to see how to add the log4j implementation with apm code over on ios so i'm going to uh, show a demo on the ios script but there will be no difference between ios and uh, android because uh, the same implementation and logic you can use for the android test cases as well so here is the agenda uh, we will uh, we will see like download the log for the jar and add to the project and here we will uh, try to create the uh, log4j xml file which is a configuration file uh, in the previous session we have seen the using the properties file so uh, in this session i have choose to use the xml file also so that uh, we can learn how to use the xml file as well and uh, after that uh, adding logs to the apm is test cases so whatever the test cases we have so i have choose uh, one of the test cases and uh, i'm going to add few logs uh, on that particular test case and after that generating the logs on console only so uh, we have seen in the previous video uh, from the property file we are controlling the generating the logs on the console and within the file and uh, for the both so the same same thing i'm going to try in this video and um, I will try to generate the logs under on the console I will generate the logs uh, under the log file also and after that I will try to generate the logs under both files and console as well so we will see how to configure it with the help of XML file and also we will see like in the from the previous video we have uh, used the configuration file so how to transform that particular uh, uh properties file into the xml file so uh, that we will also see in this video so let's start with this um let's move to eclipse so here is my eclipse and under eclipse uh, i have one project and uh, for this project i have already downloaded the uh, log projects uh, if you don't know how to download it uh, you have to uh, view my previous video where I have uh, talked about the log project configuration in detail so I will recommend you to watch my previous video I will put the, the link in the description box and uh, once I have downloaded then I have added into the reference library as well so here is the configuration what I have done so far and uh, after that I have created uh, one class this says Yatra with log project. So, in one of the previous video, we have seen the uh, the automation of the Yatra.com, which is nothing but a, a web app. So, I'm going to put the code under on the same test case. So, I'm gonna also paste the link for the, the for the, that video, so that if you are not aware about that, you can go ahead and watch that as well. I have to create first um, log, uh, XML file for the log project. So let's right click on this and uh, click on file and just create the log project.xml. So, as we have seen in an earlier video, we have used this particular you know, log project property file. So what we are going to do, uh, we are going to transform it under the XML file and we are going to use this XML file for this video. So let me go to here and let me copy it and let me paste over here. So let's understand this this one. So uh, this is nothing but an XML file and uh, we have the work for the configuration node over here which is a parent node under this we have this root and appender as a child so uh, under and under root we have levels so if we have seen here the error uh, the error is the level of that so 
we have defined here info instead of uh, error or you can choose whatever like debug info error one whatever you want but i have chosen the info as of now and the appender so appender ref is nothing but which kind of appender we are going to use so there's nothing but uh, we are using the appender is file appender so i'm using the file appender so what i'm going to do i am going to use it for the uh, file only then i will show you how to use it for the console and after that i will i will show you how to use it for both so let's do it as well okay so we have these two things level and appender under root and <clears throat> And then we have the appender, so we are going to use the file appender because we are going to write in a file. So we have already defined here we are going to use the file appender. So we have to define the parameters for file appenders here and the same stuff here. So like you need to use the file appender here and you have to define this particular value under uh, this particular um, appender name and as a class. Okay. After that, you have to define the two parameters like this threshold and uh, the file. So file is nothing but the file name. So this is the file name. So I have defined the log. So that's why I have defined the log dot log and the layout. So layout, I have the pattern layout. So if you have seen here, we have defined the layout also here. So whatever the layout we have mentioned here, um, you have to define that. Uh, conversion pattern. So which is nothing but the under you can see this layout dot conversion pattern right so that's why it is a child of a layout uh, so the uh, parameter name is conversion pattern and we have to define it here so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the same conversion so let me see how is it yeah so i've replaced it okay so this is all about the configuration file. That's it. You have to define the root with the label and appender, and then you have to define the particular properties for that particular appender. That's it. So which is nothing but the transformation of this particular uh, properties and this particular one. That's it. So I have defined it. Now it's a time to uh, add the uh, logs into the test case. So. So let me explain you how I have what I have done here. So from the last video, we have to define the logger as uh, uh, by using this line. So private static final logger and uh, logger dot get logger and with that you have to define the class name and uh, with dot class and like that you have to create an object for this. And what is DOM config creator here? So like property configurator is for uh, providing property files. So DOM configurator is for the providing the XML file. So like that you have to define it. So if you just define the name of the file, then it will assume like it's in under your project directory. So I have given here or I had also and also you can define this also. Uh, it's more better because if you it will not make any confusion or any problem in the test run. Yeah, this looks more good. Let me delete it. Yeah, so this is to uh, locate your XML file, and then uh, after that, I have added one debug um, log also because if you have observed, we have used info, and as per to the hierarchy, the debug is about an info, right. So if you start with info, then uh, debug messages should not get printed. For that, you need to watch my previous video, how the hierarchy of the labels is maintained by the logs. So uh, you will find the, uh, the explanation in that video. And then uh, I have added uh, this particular log messages, initializing capabilities and whatever the capabilities I have, I have just mentioned over here. And then I'm initializing the driver my host, port, and the URL for the heavy up, and then whatever the URL I'm going to open the browser. So, the Chrome browser I have defined here, ready to load the URL, and then click on the flight. And this message also I'm printing, wait for the 10 seconds and good drive. 
So this is all about my blogs. I have all the logs I have mentioned under the info. So that is all about. So what this test case will do, it will just uh, launch the Chrome browser and on sorry, it will it will uh, open the Safari browser, not Chrome browser. So it's a Safari browser. It will launch the Safari browser because we are running on the iOS and uh, then it will uh, load this particular URL and uh, then it will click on the right button and then it will take wait for the 10 seconds that's it it's pretty much about this test cases with this test case which we have already seen in our last video so let's run it so what's our configuration says so it should generate only the file log file with the log dot log so let me refresh it so as of now i don't have any file over here so now let me execute the test case Yeah, so now this case is started. If you, if you are able to see, like there is nothing gets printed on the console, and the test case is now started. Okay, so it's now loading the other form, it's not the fight, and now it should wait for the 10 seconds. And uh, after that, it should hit the yeah, it's waited for 10 seconds and the this case is done so if you if you can see like there is nothing gets printed over on the console console is clear and let's see about the file so let's refresh it so uh, file log dot log so whatever we have uh, given here so let's get printed yeah so it's get printed over here so the because uh, under log for the XML file, we have used the file appender. That's the reason we have got here within the file, not on the console. So let's do one thing. Uh, let me delete it. Now let's use the console appender instead of the file appender. So let me change it to console appender. Also here, the console appender. Console Appender and here also the Console Appender and uh, everything should be fine. Now let's see what, what it will do. Now let's run it. So you can see here now under the logs, no, sorry, under the console, our logs is getting printed. And yes, see now it's initializing the iOS driver, waiting for 10 seconds. It has clicked on flights also. Now it's now it should quit the browser after 10 seconds. See. And yes, see it's quit the driver. Correct. Everything is went very smoothly over on the console. Let's see if we if it is generating the file or not. It's not generated the file because we have configured this log project for only for the console and also if we have observed here within these particular logs it's not okay and it's not printing the debug message see which is on the top it, it is starting from the initializing capability perfect now what we are going to do we are going to uh, do the logging for the both for the console as well as under the log file so what what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this line again and I'm 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 gonna add a file appender as well. So let me copy this and instead of console appender I'm going to use file appender. So that's it, the remaining settings will be same. So let me confirm here if I don't have the log files, no I don't have and it's clean and uh, okay, my IPM server is also running. So let's run it now. Okay, so cool, it's now getting printed on the console. So now it should create also the log file here. Let's create it. So let's see. 
now the test case is going on hold on so it's now now waiting for 10 seconds and it should quit the browser yep test case is done yep test case is done and see here uh, it, it's providing the details about the log login from which file it has logged under which particular test method and on under which line so it's coming say for an example uh, the platform name iOS from from where it is logging it is logging from the yatra with log for the dot java file under this method test yatra test which is present under line number 34 if you will click on this it will show you see platform name iOS line number 34 so how interactive it is and let's refresh it and let's check the log file so see i have uh, got the logs on the console as well as under the log file as well so this is how guys you can create uh, or add uh, the log 4j under your admin test case and uh, in this video i have uh, used the log 4j xml file as well so in this video we have learned how to use the log for the xml configuration for our apm test cases so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys if you have really liked this video uh, please uh, like uh, do the comment if you have found it helpful and please share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel so thank you bye bye and i will see you in the next video have a great day